Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow declutter as well as I guess blushes and stuff. I don't know. Maybe I should put it separate parts. I don't know. But I have a lot of makeup so I just did a haul and then I also did my hair product declutter as well. So if you guys haven't seen that video, uh, make sure you check it out. But when I got my haul, I got more makeup in and a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So I don't have room to put anything anywhere right now. So I need to organize <laughs> some stuff. Um, yeah, I have a problem. And I will show you what my storage of my eyeshadow palettes and stuff look like right now. And it's just overflowing. And I don't know if I need to get like a second <sighs> shelving unit or what. I'm just really stressed right now because it's everywhere um so if you like videos like this please give it a thumbs up um and if you want to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this um and also hit that bell notification so that way you get alerted every time i upload a new video um so i'm gonna show you what my current situation looks like for how i store my makeup um so that way you guys kind of have an idea on what it looks like um it's not going to be the cleanest i did take off my blow dryer off the table but i will show you what it looks like and then also what other drawer i use for like my everyday so i have to organize that too so i'm gonna get where i'm gonna get all the eyeshadow palettes that i have declare those and i think we're gonna do blush and highlighter another day um and then do foundation and concealers nice stuff i guess I don't know how I'm going to group them, but that's your palettes because I have way too many. So I will show you what my current situation looks like. All right, so this is where I store my eye sh um, shadows and makeup, majority of it. So I just have two shelving units here. As you can see, there's overflow of palettes, more palettes, and then like makeup stuff. So I could take some of that stuff out and then store some palettes. Um, this is all my skincare, so I could take this stuff out of the boxes too. I don't know. And then I have blushes and highlighters here, and then foundation stuff, and then more palettes. Ever since I did hauls, I have so much stuff. And then this is more like my lip drawer and stuff. Um, and then these are the products I haven't used yet. And I do have some room over here, so I could put some stuff over there too. So that's what this, I know this is like the smallest Place. I don't want to get anything bigger because I will use it up. And then I have my vanity. Sorry, my lights are on. Uh, so I have my vanity. That's eyeshadow palettes that I got from my last haul. Um, and then that's the hair stuff I did my last haul too. I have scissors. I don't know why. But this is what my vanity looks like. That's my mirror. Hi. That's where I film at. And then this is what the drawers systems look like. So my hair products and stuff are all in here. If you saw my last declutter. And then all these four are actually for clothing. Because I don't want to put makeup in there. But I might need to move it to two drawers. I don't know how this is going to go. But this is what my drawer, first drawer looks like. It's actually a really decent size. And this is majority of like my everyday makeup. And I have some jewelry in here. I don't know why. I, maybe I could... No, I can't move that over. I don't know what I'm going to do. But that's what that looks like. And you guys have seen this drawer in one of my declutter videos. So that's what we're looking at. This is on the palettes that I got brand new. Um, which is not a good place for them. Because I feel like they're going to fall over. And then, yeah. So I'm going to take out all my palettes from here. At the bottom, any palettes I have here. So all my eyeshadow palettes which is only one of them because i'm using glowing coconuts right now I'll go through them and then declutter what we have i don't think i'm going to be decluttering much because majority of the stuff i like so we'll see how this goes okay guys so i put all my palettes on my vanity table and we're just gonna go through each of them i just realized i don't think i'm gonna be Decluttering anything. I think I might declutter one. Maybe two. It's not going to be a good declutter, <laughs> to be honest. So I think this could be a declutter plus um, my eyeshadow palette um, collection. So since you guys might be interested in that, 
Um, so the first thing I'm going to put away because this is bulky. I know a lot of people don't like it because it's really bulky and this might save some space in my um, beauty area. But I really like this because I really love books. So this is the Fairy Tale uh, Storybook Cosmetic. I got this in my box charm for December. So this is what it looks like. And I really do like the colors. So I'm going to keep it because I'm a nerd and I like books. And this is like... This is just like up my alley, like eyeshadow in a book concept. So yeah, so I'm gonna keep that. I only have one C color um, palette, which is called the Sundown. Um, this is like supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty one. If you saw my last haul, so that's what that looks like. The film's still on it. I'm not gonna take it off just because there's supposed to be a pressed glitter there. I don't want it to go all over the place. So I'm keeping that one. This is Makeup Revolution. Um, Sophie X. This is supposed. To, um, this is the twenty four um eyeshadow palette. I was gonna say twenty four hours. I don't know why. Um, I still have it. In it's packaging. Maybe I should take it out. Cause why would I keep it in the packaging? And that way, I think it's gonna help with the space situation. So if you saw my haul, you will have seen this palette in it. It's moving. Oh my God, I just broke a nail. So this is what the palette looks like. I haven't used it. I haven't touched it. I have so many palettes that I haven't touched. Um, and then this is what the inside looks like. So it's really pretty. And then, yeah. So that one is my first Sophie X one. Um, I have another Makeup Revolution one, the Chocolate Bar Palette. So I was go, I'll finish off with Makeup Revolution and then go from there. Like I'll just try to have them in um, categories so that's easier. And then this is my Chocolate Bar one. This is the 24 karat gold uh, by Makeup Revolution. And I love this palette. I did a look with this palette and I really like the colors. So it's more like a fall palette. A brush in there no one uses it i don't know why i'm just gonna keep it in there i don't like this brush maybe i should throw them out i have no idea what to do with them um so that is that and then i'm gonna go with stuff that i have single of <laughs> so i have a violet boss essentials i got this in my boxy charm and i really like it so this is what the palette looks like it's called essentials i'm keeping that one um this one i think i'm going to declutter this is by butter london and I got this um, in my boxy charm too, but that's what it looks like. I I don't mind the colors, but I don't really need this palette. I know it's like the smallest palette, and then I'm declining the smallest one. Maybe I should declare like more of the big ones. But anyways, so I'm just not gonna keep it because I don't really need it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So I'm declaring one so far, guys. And that's how it's gonna go. What else do I have that is in categories? I have this, um, no, maybe I should go IBH now. And then, yeah, okay. So I'm going to go with a Dose of Colors because it's my only one I have by them. It's called Sassy Sienna. And I got this in my boxer charm. I'm going to keep it because I heard the formula for this palette is really, well, not palette, but like the company itself is really good. So that's what that looks like. Oops, not my camera, but like, there you go. So I'm going to keep this one as well, just because I haven't played with it. Yeah, I haven't played with a lot of palettes. I don't know why I have to keep them. It's so bad. Like, so bad. Um, I have this Tarte Sex Kitten one, and I actually have used the colors. And I like the smell of it. And this is like my, I think my only Tarte palette. So I'm going to keep it. And plus, it's called Sex Kitten, and it has like cat stuff on here. I, 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 can't, I can't get rid of it. Like my first palette i think i got from tarte so my only palette from tarte actually um and then i have some elf palettes i think i have two i don't have big elf palettes really i guess i don't i thought i did i don't know why but i do have my small mini ones uh these are the bite size eyeshadow i got one in truffle and one in pumpkin pie i'm definitely keeping these because these are good quality I'm um, not going to get rid of those. Um, and I guess we will finish off with Colourpop. Because I have a bunch of them. 
And I think that's it. Oh, wow, I do. That's it. And then that's it. I'm seeing if I have more, but I guess I don't. Like, I feel like I have more, but I don't. Okay, so we're going to start with ColourPop. Um, I'm going to start with my nine pan palette, which is called Going Coconuts by ColourPop. I love this guy. This is the perfect neutral eye look. I did put that on today. I just put two colors, one color, I think. I think I just put a lovely bunch on my lid. That's it. So I really like this. This is my only nine pan palette I have by ColourPop. And it was such a good investment to get it. So I'm going to keep that. Um, this is an eight pan palette. Um, this has been, I don't think they sell this anymore, but it's by Bretman and ColourPop. This is the wet palette. Um, and this is majority blues. Kind of reminds me of the more palette that they have, but don't know if it's the same color scheme, but I like how this is blue. So I really like that. Um, and then I got Give It To Me Straight, which is the signature 12 pan palette. Love this guy like my all-time favorite color pop and then i got dream suit by catlin lights oh my god love this palette too i have played with these colors oh just gorgeous so i'm keeping that too i don't think i'm getting rid of any of my color pop and then i got the whatever palette which is the newer one that i got and i did like more of like a red look with it and i really like this so i'm keeping all of those i don't have much color pop I think that the next thing is I think I'm going to get more ColourPop stuff, which will be bad because, yeah. <laughs> um, the next palette I have is uh, Celestia Thunder I got in my box charm. Um, I really like this. This is the only Domi Cosmetic one I have, so I'm going to keep it just because I do like some of the shades. And I think I did a, no, I just did a swatch video on them. I don't think I actually wore it. I don't think I did. I don't recall wearing it. And the other palette I have is by Ace Brute. It's the Scarlet Dust palette. I really wanted the other one just because of the greens in it. This is like a really orange, yellow, pink palette. It's all base like that. I'm not really a big fan, but I don't have palettes like this, I guess, that has all the pinks. Unless I have like one that's like just a pink, but I know... I'm not sure if I'm good. like I did swatch some shades and I really did like some of them but maybe I should do like a yellow not really yellow orange red shade I don't know I've never done orange eyeshadow so that will be some something fun to do I guess um yes and then I have two perfusion palettes yes so I have the sapphires that I got from I think winners or something for like five dollars if you saw my last haul and it's a blue palette again i feel like yeah it's a blue palette but it also has a black i do i haven't played with perfusion before so i'm gonna keep it i know it's kind of like the wet palette i have by ColourPop, but i'm gonna the form is gonna be different ColourPop has better formula so i'm just gonna play with it and if i don't like this as much as ColourPop, i might declutter it in my next declutter but I haven't touched it yet, so it's brand new. And then I also have the Wonderlust palette by Profusion as well, which is this big guy over here. So that's what that looks like. And that's brand new, so I haven't played with it either. So I'm not going to get rid of it yet. Um, let's get rid of my big palettes here because it's a lot. Um, okay, so I got this Iconic London from my boxycharm and i absolutely love this palette because it's all like pretty much neutral colors and like i just i love it so it's such a good palette and it's a good travel size so i have played with it a little bit and i really love this so i'm not gonna get rid of it it's pretty big but i really like it i don't know why um let's go into so iconic london's by itself so i have a brand called j cat beauty i haven't opened this it was ten dollars at winners this is before the whole covid thing i did a haul on this and this is what the color scheme looks like on the back i'm actually gonna open it up so it saves room i can't sell it like this anyways because of the what do you call it the price i could like give it to like my cousin or someone but 
I haven't played with Jade Cat eyeshadow before, and I really want to try the formula out. And they're cruelty free, so I might as well, right? So that's my issue. I buy the stuff and then don't have time to try it out. So it looks like, oh, it looks like that cheap plastic packaging like BH has, and like I think Morphe had. I don't have a Morphe palette in here, so. But oh, those are good size pans. So it just looks like this when you open it up. That's what the colors look like. So these are like your everyday neutrals. Looking at it, maybe I should compare it to my Iconic London and see if I should keep both of them. But then I haven't played with J-Cat. So I'm going to play around with it and see how I like the formula. Because like Iconic London, I love the formula. So I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to play around with J-Cat as well. Just because, yeah. Um, Let's go into these um i'm going to like my anastasia uh beverly Hills palette and then go into my one boxy charm palette i have and then i think we can go into bh and then finish off with julius julius place which is my favorite so the jackie anna palette you know i love not gonna get rid of it there's no way um, and plus this is being discontinued and I don't know if it has already, but I'm keeping this. I love this palette. This is like the best palette like by, I don't have the other ones, but I feel like this one is awesome. Like really awesome. I would never get rid of that one. Um, and then I get the Riviera from Winners as well. And it was like $30. So yeah, I got the other one for like 42 at Sephora VIB sale and yeah, so this one's a, a discontinued item as well, the Riviera, and I just love the packaging. Um, and I haven't touched it yet, but I should because these colors are more summer shades. So that's what that looks like. I haven't been touched, but oh my god, I just love colorful looks. So I'm gonna have to stop playing with that soon. But I love, yeah keeping that one as well that's like my only two b uh abh palettes and then we got this boxycharm hella charmer palette um from them and i did i swatched some shades and i don't mind them especially like that like color and i want to keep it because it is exclusive to boxycharm you can't get it anywhere else obviously and i want to play with it i kind of could give it away and I couldn't like I could keep it, but I don't mind it as much. The pounds are huge, so yeah, they have like neutral shades in here, and then also some colorful like like do you see those glitter like especially that one like I don't think you see that shade anywhere. And then the, those two are really nice and unique. I don't know. We'll see what happens with my next declutter video, and maybe I might declutter then. But it was exclusive to Boxer Charm, so I might as well keep it. And now let's get into my BH Cosmetic palettes, which I have a lot of. <laughs> so this is my Zodiac palette. I A lot of people talk about this one. I'm not getting rid of it. Um, I just bought it from the BH website. I haven't played with it yet, so I'm not going to get rid of it. I know, like I'm just a hoarder of palettes. So it's a decent sized mirror, and that's what it looks like. And then, yeah, I'm keeping that one um yeah that goes here i don't even know where to put it because it's so freaking big that's what she said um and then my rest of my bh ones i think i might be giving this to my cousin hopefully she's not watching but i'm not going to show you that that's the other bh one i had if you saw my last video that's the one i'm talking about so that one i'm not going to show it just in case she's watching um so i'm gonna keep that on the side for her um my next bh one is the desert oasis one oh my god i'm like i it's like summer now because it's all glowy and like that sh those shades in here like the shades in here are awesome why can't i open it there you go sorry i have to throw that thing away i haven't really played with it but these shades like look at this it's gorgeous so i'm gonna keep this one because i was excited when this went on sale at bh 
And then this one, I did do a pink and purple look with this one. Um, this is the BH um, Opalescent one. It's a 24 color palette. And this is what this looks like. So I did do pinks and purple. I might get rid of this one, actually. I only used it once. But I don't, like, I have a B, um, ABH palette that I like more. I think I might get rid of this one. It's going to be in my baby pile. So I really don't care for it as much. So, yeah. Um, the next one I have is Take Me Back to Brazil. Sorry. <laughs> Just move my camera, my tripod around. It's Take Me Back to Brazil. This is my 35, um, these are pressed pigments. And this is like my colorful palette. I know Juvia Slate is really colorful, but this is like all the colors of the rainbow is in this palette. And then you have blacks and whites as well. So I'm keeping that because in case I want color. <coughs> Excuse me. And then my next one, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it just because you can find this in winners. But then I was thinking of keeping it the package. This is the Aurora Lights. These are all 18 color baked shadows. I do have the Zodiac palette that I think I'm going to get more use of. So I'm not going to actually, let's see if I could take this out of the sleeve and then I will sell this I think just because I don't think I'm going to get much use of this one like I do like it but I do have zodiac fake shadows and I don't think I'm going to actually use these colors to be honest um so you get a decent size mirror and I haven't touched it so I might as well sell it before I touch it but this is what the baked shadows look like. And I think I have some of these colors in the Zodiac palette anyways. Um, if, if you can see those. Like they're really pretty. But I don't think I'm going to use it as much. So I might as well declutter this one as well. I was excited to get it. But I'm not going to get much use of it. I think I will use the Zodiac palette more. And if I, I have it untouched, I'd rather sell it. Let me touch swatching it or playing around with it and only using it once. So that's gonna get it cluttered. So that's two. <laughs> so that's not good. <laughs> and my next palette is my color festival palette. This is 20 shadows. I love this one. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of it just because it's so colorful. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna keep that one for another round. Um, my next one. Uh, the tr no, no, I have one more and then I'll go into my travel series palettes. I have the BH, what is this, Fairy Lights. I, I got this recently as well. And this is what it looks like. So it's like pinks and blues and I don't mind that. So I'm going to keep this one. So like I said, I, I could use these pink and blue instead of the other one. Okay, so let's get into the travel series of the bh cosmetics so i like i said i don't have all of them so um i got a blush and highlight palette so this is blushing in bali and i did this in one of my channels i really like these colors in here um except i don't think i'm gonna use much of this one which is one and then love in london i really love this palette it's a 16 color shadow eyeshadow palette I did a video on this one. I really like the colors in here. Um, and then I got some new ones <laughs> um, from, what do you call it? Oh, I'm missing the grease one. But do I have the, no, I don't have the grease one. Well, because it was sold out. I thought I got the grease one. Damn it. I don't. Uh, this is the beautiful in Barcelona one. This is newer to me. Um, I haven't played for, with yet. That's what this one looks like. I love that blue shade up here. Now some of these palettes look almost the same. I haven't since I haven't opened it. Maybe I should sell it. And I'm gonna compare with. What's my other one? Uh, with Love in London to see if I have some matching shades in here and then they kind of not really uh, 
um, no, I don't think so. not many. Like there's like one or two, but it's not much. And then the other one I have is Hanging in Hawaii, which is like a neutral palette. I love the packaging of it because it looks so bright. So I was like, oh, hot pink, but it's not. So this one I haven't played with either yet. Oh, maybe I should sell this one. But that's what this one looks like. Kind of looks like a palette that I have. <laughs> oh my God. Why do I do this to myself? Which one was it? Um... Is it this one? No, I don't think so. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I'm like, I feel like they almost look the same. And then I got another, uh, two more left for BH. This is a spin in Switzerland. I really like this one. And I thought I got another one, but I guess the Grease one, that the Grease one is a blush and highlighter palette, but I think it was sold out when that was on the website. But this is what the Smitten, uh, Smitten Sweet Sweet oh my god. <laughs> What's it called? Mitten in Switzerland. There you go. Wow. Uh, that's what this one looks like and the greens oh my god i can't wait like i love greens and then the blue there so i will like this one as well um so that's that one and then this is the ireland one so um this is a six color highlighter palette maybe also this one i wasn't really keen on it i just wanted it because of the travel series i guess but this is all highlighters so if you want a palette that's all highlighters, you would like this. But this is what this looks like. I think these might be too dark for highlighters. Like these four are okay, but like the gold you could use as an eye um, eyeshadow and then also that as an eyeshadow. Because I don't think, unless it looks different. But yeah, that is um, Eliminating in Ireland. And I like Ireland, so yeah. That's what that one looks like. So that is all of the BH travel series that I have. So I'm missing, I don't know if I'm gonna get this um, St. Topaz. I just want the Grease one, I think. And then the, I will have two of them then. And then, yeah, that will be it for the travel series. And then let's get into my um, Juvia's Place palette. So I'm gonna go by order, I think, on um, the palettes. So these were my newer ones. Let's move things around here. Like I'm gonna go in, not the order that they came out cause that's, I don't know how they came out, but I'm gonna go in like one and twos and stuff. So I'll start off with Nubian cause I think that was the first palette that they came out with. So this is the Nubian. Um, I think, yeah, this is the mini, I think. No, there is a mini, but I don't think this is the mini. They have a smaller one. But this is what the pan look like. So it's like your nice neutral palette. It has some shimmers in it and some mattes. Then they came out the Nubian, Nubian 2, which was a little bigger. Which I was like, like, this is what the second one looks like. And the pans in these, oh my god. This is going to last you forever. And that's what this one looks like. I love this Egypt shade right here. Oh my god. Like that looks gorgeous and then cleopatra is like this blue like this navy oh my god i haven't played around with this one yet because i have too many um the next one i have is nubian 3 which i recently got um is the coral one so these are all like corals and grays which i don't have grays in palettes so it's all like coral colors and gray which is kind of nice which is different so you see all the grays down there so that's really nice and then that is for the for the Nubian unless they came out with some other one that I don't know of <laughs> and then now we can go into the Saharan yeah let's go into the Saharan um so this is the Saharan the regular one this is your regular size pan I like these pans better just because I feel like you go through them really well and there's a black shade in here called chad so that's what that one looks like 
And then I also got the Sehain too. And this is the red, like the big pans, which I feel like it's going to take me forever to go through. And I don't mind this one either. It's like a neutral with a pop of like blue, which is very pretty. Like those blues on the side, like the icy blue. Really pretty. And that's it for the Sehain, I think. Yeah. And then we go into... Okay, let's go into these ones. So I got the Masquerade Mini. You can get the big size of it, but I prefer the mini one. Um, these are like your neutrals, and then you have your colorful shades. I love this palette. Oh my god, I love it. Like, I love the greens and blues and purples. And then your neutral colors. Like, oh my god, this is like my favorite palette, I think. By Juvia's. And then the Tri Palette, I think, after. I'm not sure. And then this is the mini magic mini so this one looks like and the blues and greens oh my god like look at that green and i played with this one too so it has pinks and purples that's what i mean like i don't really need that palette so yeah that's that one um and then let's go into the zulu palette i haven't played with this one either but this is a very colorful palette as well you see that? Gorgeous. So that's your Zulu. And then I have the Tribe palette, which is a green one. I think this is my second favorite. <laughs> I can't, I haven't ranked them yet. I should do a rank video. But that is the green palette by Juvia's called the Tribe. And then let's go into Nomad. This is the Nomad one. And this reminds me of fall shades for sure. So that's what this one looks like. And then I got the Afrique palette. And this is really colorful as well. And this is like a small pan one, which is nice. And I really like the green and yellow in this. So that's what Afrique look like. I just have it upside down. I caught them like that, but if you want, but I find going upside down is easier for me. And then I let's go into the warrior palettes and then I have one more after that the festival um, so this is warrior one which is gorgeous this could be like highlighter shades um, so this is it has three mattes and the rest are all shimmers but this is like a neutral basic palette and some shimmers in it and you could use them as highlighters as well gorgeous and also like a bronzer shade in here too. Like, oh my God, you can pretty much do a full face with this. Except the cheeks, I guess. Um, this is the way too. This is all matte palette. So if you're just like mattes, this would be a palette for you. And like I said, you could do bronzer shade, a cheek shade, and also an eye look with this. Like a full eye. Like you even have a black shade to like do for like your liner. But that's Warrior 2. And then Warrior 3 is a more colorful one. It's a very colorful palette. And then the last one <laughs> for my palette collection, in which I'm not decluttering. None of these Julia Fleece palettes are getting decluttered, by the way. No, there's no way. I love them too much. And this is the Festival palette. And gorgeous. Again, none of these are getting decluttered because I like them too much. So that was fun. I like how I just went through a palette collection with you guys. Um, so I'm going to actually uh, see what I have in my stock again. So we're getting rid of the Butter London and we're decluttering a row of lights. And I think I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Maybe I should keep it. I'm not sure. This is the maybe one I was thinking of because I said I have the pinks and purples. Well, yeah, because of the magic palette. But would I use any of the other colors? I'm not even sure. But that's my other palette. So this is what it looks like. I really like it, but I'm not sure. Oh my god. Do I use it as much? This is give me joy. 
it's not bad it's not a bad palette you know what let's keep it and then we go from there but i do have like i said the magic has some pinks and purples in it and it has your regular neutrals i hate this so much okay we're gonna declutter this one so that's like legit three palettes i decluttered and the rest i don't know where i'm gonna put them oh this is so bad oh. All right, so I totally forgot about these two palettes, uh, these few things. I totally forgot that I had them. Um, so this is the Makeup Revolution Full Look Palette. Um, and this is what this one looks like. I think I'm going to declare this one. That's what that looks like. Yeah, I'm going to declare this one. So that will be four palettes I'm decluttering. And then I forgot about these ones. These are Loose Pigments. So this is from BH. This is called Diamond Dazzle Loose Foil Pigment. Um, I'm keeping this one. That's what that one looks like. I haven't opened it. And then I also got these two from them as well from BH. And these are the highlights ones. So these are the two colors that it comes in. Like, look how gorgeous those look. So I'm keeping those as well. Um, yeah, I totally forgot about those. <laughs> so, so far we have four palettes declutter and that's all of my eyeshadow palettes. And I include my highlighter and blushing palettes in here, which I'm not supposed to. So ignore that. I will have to be cutting that out. But yeah, so I'll see you next time. Okay, so that was it for declutter. I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm going to put these back, but I will show you how I store my makeup at the end of my series uh, where I get rid of my like, blushes and highlighters if I do <laughs> and then I do have some blushes actually I could get rid of I do have some blush palettes and also like highlighting palettes and stuff that I that take up a lot of room that I most likely might be getting rid of and then some blush like another blush I have that I might be getting rid of as well like all my hair and then I'm gonna get rid of that do the declutter for blushes and highlighters Lips I already did, so I'm not going to do another one. And then, what else? Um, foundation and concealer. I think I should be good on those. Um, and then I will put some stuff in my everyday makeup drawer that and stuff that I should try in there because that drawer is really big. And then I think that will help with the room situation. I don't have to store my palettes. But... Hopefully you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you like videos like this, don't, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye. You. What's that from? Oh my god. Oh, this must be from that one eyeshadow that... Okay, sorry, I'm going to get a makeup wipe because this eyeshadow that I guess broke. And then I think got onto one of the palettes and then I had to clean it off. Oh my god, it's all over this. So keeping this one as well. Sorry, my makeup wipes fell. Oh my god. This is a disaster.